And the future of the first American spacecraft to land on the moon in more than 50 years is coming to an abrupt end. CTV's Garrett Barry on why the multi-million dollar failure is still being considered a success. Engineers in Houston are racing against time tonight to get more data off of the moon before their transmissions go quiet. Their lunar lander Odysseus is dying. In fact, it may already be dead, doomed by a flubbed landing that put the spacecraft on its side. Caught a foot in the surface and the, and the lander has tipped like this. And we believe this is the, surf, the, the orientation of the lander on the moon. Solar panels are pointed in the wrong direction and so are the antennas, which makes transmission even slower. Earlier today, Intuitive Machines, the company that spent $100 million to build the lander, estimated there were only a few hours left before Odie's battery is depleted. The mission has captured and transmitted these images, taken while Odysseus was still in flight, approximately 30 meters above the moon's surface. The real take-home message with any space mission is it's about the journey, it's about those, those failures, it's about the successes, it's about the whole trajectory, and we're all making our way into the future together, and I think if you're not at least celebrating part of it, I think you might be missing the point. These pictures show the South Pole region of the moon is the first time anything's gotten so close. It's alluring to researchers and astronauts this region could even have frozen water. It could be key for future exploration. Just because the mission failed doesn't mean there was a, a big suitcase with millions of dollars in it that got left on the moon. We spent that money. We're learning from that investment in the future. Four, three, two. The team behind this lunar mission will speak again tomorrow where it's expected they will release more photos from the moon. Garrett Barry, CTV News, St. John's.